I would call your attention to Title IX. It really is the Internet Consumer Bill of Rights. Now, we have consumers who use this Internet, and we have commercial users who use this Internet. Unfortunately, your comments bring them together. I would call the committee's attention to an article that was, that was called to my attention by my wife, as a matter of fact, uh, in the International Herald Tri Tribune. We talk about the World Wide Web. This demonstrates that nowhere, nowhere in the world today is there the kind of, of, of a decision has a kind of decision been made that is recommended by those who really want to create a two-tier system. The position you've announced is a two-tier system. And as a matter of fact, if you look at, at this article, I would hope that you read it, uh, it says this, in addition, many of the companies that oppose legislating net neutrality do so because they believe the speed and capabilities of the Internet are being improved on their backs. They are, are footing the bill for building ever faster broadband connections that others, like you and me, and it's in effect, uh, are benefiting from. In Europe, Deutsche Tech Telekom and, and Telekom Italia are among the corporate voices starting to express this view. Deutsche Telekom expects to spend $3.8 billion on building a fiber optic network with 25 times the speed of today's broadband, and it wants to keep its competitors off that network. But the Eastern European Commission believes that the German telecommunications market is not competitive enough for such a restriction. The Commission is by and large following procedures set up by the EU, while white papers as far back as the Bangerman Report in 1993 calling for interoperability and minimal regulation. Now, uh, it, 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 uh, it, it closes by the state saying, my biggest fear in this debate is that we don't know enough about the consequences to turn the Internet into a two-tier system, which is exactly what those who are pleading for net neutrality would do. Now, when you, when you look at this bill, we have a Consumer Bill of Rights. We express what it is. What, the consumer is fully protected. And, and we have network security, worms virus, denial of service, parental controls, blocking child pornography. We have sections to protect the, the, the consumer, protect the application of the First Amendment. And, and we, 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 we prohibit the, 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 the uh, commission from issuing regulations to change what we have provided in the bill. Now, why did we do that? We did that because when you look at it, uh, this is the non-discriminatory non portion of the bill. We demand that the, that the Internet not discriminate against consumers. Now, the, the heart of non-discrimination is really the heart of carry regulation. What, what the center is talking about is allowing all of these uh, entities that support this uh, to provide streaming stuff going on on the, on the, the internet now the internet you know let's go back internet started with with a concept of local to local connections across the country uh, and, and uh, you, you could go for Air Alaska, but you only had you had to go through con local connections to get there. The industry wisely provided for uh, streaming uh, for, in effect, a new kind of long distance, and, and that's what we've got. Uh, we've got a service that's immune to distance, and it's there for the consumer. But, but when we take uh, uh, and uh, really uh, indicate that. Anyone that wants to use it, the, this system for massive, massive com uh, uh, commercial purposes, well, there's one company now you, you can you can get, sign up and you can get a, a, a movie delivered to your house daily by 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 subscription by, by delivery service. Okay, uh, and and currently it comes to your house. It put in the mailbox when you get home, and annually or monthly, you, ch you change your order. But you pay for that, right? This service is now going to go through the Internet, and what you do is you just go to, to a place on the Internet, and, and you, you order your, your movie, and guess what? You can order ten of them, and, and it's a delivery, and this delivery charge is free, right? Ten movies streaming across that, that inter Internet, and what happens to y your, your own personal Internet? I, I just the other day got internet was sent by my staff at 10 o'clock in the morning on Friday. I got it yesterday. Why? Because it got tangled up with all of these things that are going on the internet commercially. So when you want to talk about the consumer, let's talk about you and me. 
We use this internet for communication. We want it, we, we're not using it for commercial purposes. We're not earning anything by going on that internet. Now, I'm not saying you have to discriminate or, you, or, or, or if we want to discriminate against those people. I'm not saying we haven't seen anything yet that indicates there is discrimination. And until you can define it, I'm opposed to the concepts that are applied by, by your recommendation. We, we have... Uh, if, if we have already have unfair competition, I've already said if you want to put, make a special provision with regard to uh, antitrust laws, and as a matter of fact, that's going to come out of the Judiciary Committee. We, we made an agreement, I don't know if you know this, with the Judiciary Committee, we would not deal with antitrust concepts in this committee. They're going to look at the Internet from the point of view of antitrust, and they're going to report something concerning antitrust to the floor, and we'll decide whether we add that to this bill or whether they have to, to do it separately. But the, 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 the regulatory report approach is wrong. Your approach is regulatory. It's regulatory in the sense that it says no one can charge anyone for, for massively invading this world of the Internet. Mr. Chairman? Uh, oh, yes, sir. I'm sorry. I, didn't, I thought you were finished. I'm sorry. No, I'm not finished. I've listened to the lady for quite some time. I, I want to make sure people understand my position. Understood. I'm not going to take a lot of time. But oh, right. wait a minute. Th those people who want to, to support these things that you passed out, Senator, are the people who want to use the, the uh, internet for the end use of their profit, not for the consumer. Yeah. And these are people who are charging, in, in effect, for what, what they're delivering. Now, I, I, I think the result, if we went your way, instead of paying $30 a month, we'd be paying 50 to $60 a month. Will it be fewer broadband subscribers? It will restrict it. I think that's why the world has turned against this. They have not done it. Oh my God. There has been, I, I, I don't think anyone can show that there's been a violation in the, in the sense that we call net neutrality. As a matter of fact, in our bill, we have a provision that requires, requires the FCC to monitor this. If they find anything that looks like a violation of internet neutrality, they must immediately call it to the attention of Congress. Uh, until that time, until that time, they're, 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 we are saying that they cannot they cannot invade this area and start regulations of the type that the senator is describing. I, I think network security, network independence <coughs> is, is absolutely essential. The, the wrong re regulatory approach imposing a heavy-handed regulation before there's a demonstrated need is wrong. And the senator, whether you realize that, you're, you're asking for regulation. You're asking for a two-tiered system. You're, you're asking now that you tell people who, who, who do have these systems that they cannot ask that someone pay for the increased capability they pri provide what? For business. I don't have to have that kind of speed they're talking about in terms of the speeds that, that they're going to put in the Internet. But the people who are streaming through 10, 12 movies at a time or a whole book at a time for, 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 for uh, consumers' use... Th those those are not you and me. They're not the consumers. They're the providers. And, and those people who provide these things over the, uh, the, and use the Internet for a delivery service rather than for a concept of communication, that's the difference. And I, I do not believe that net neutrality is, is, a, is, is something that... Well, I, I would say this. I don't think anyone here has defined what net, net, net neutrality is. And... and We've heard that we're slipping behind. This bill is designed to let us go ahead, to expand the whole concept of communication. And, and here we have this one situation where enormous entities want to use the Internet for their purpose to save money for do doing what they're doing now. They use FedEx. They use the, the delivery services. They, they use the mail. They, 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 they deliver in other ways, but they want to deliver vast amounts of information over the Internet. And again, the Internet is not something that you just dump something on. It's not a big truck. It's, it's a series of tubes. And if you don't understand, those tubes can be filled. And if they're filled, when you put your message in, it gets in line. It's going to be delayed by anyone that puts into that tube enormous amounts of material Enormous amounts of material. Now, we have a separate Department of Defense that now. Do you know that? You know why? Because they have to have theirs delivered immediately. They can't afford getting delayed by other people. The security of the United States requires a separate net for, for, for defense. Now, I, I think these people are, are arguing whether they should be able to dump all that stuff on the Internet ought to consider whether they ought to build a system themselves.
there, maybe there is a place for a commercial net. But it's not using what the consumers use every day. It's not using the, the messaging service that is essential, I think, to this, this small business. It's essential to our operation of, of families. The whole, whole, whole concept is uh, that uh, we should not go into this until someone shows that there's something that's been done that really is a violation of that neutrality that is you and me. If, if one of the big corporations that want this net neutrality concept adopted